All right, now we're gonna look at a crazy move. I call it the crazy move. I've never seen it done. It's uh, different. I showed a bicep slicer in my previous video, and we're gonna go past the bicep slicer. Bicep slicer. Maybe the bicep slicer didn't work, uh, or maybe I'm just hunting this move because I want to do something really cool. I am not gonna lie to you and tell you this move is high percentage. I've had mild success with it. It's a lot of fun, and I think that there is a lot of merit in it, um, but I don't know, you try it out and let me know what you think. I'm about to go on a journey, all right? It's a, it's a long way, um, but it starts off with that bicep slicer that we did in the last video. So, you know, I seat belt him, I pull him back, I'm pushing the leg or arm away, I get my foot to the inside. It is important that I switch hands. When I switch hands, that's gonna allow me to power break this and put some pressure on it without losing control of the hand. It's very important that I keep this tight. When I push this arm away, I'm gonna allow it to come to the floor and I'm gonna trap. So from here, now I gotta get my leg to the back of his head, but it has to be on the inside of this arm. If this hand is in, we can just pull it away to bring that leg over top of the head. Now we have a ton of options here. The legal one for the IBJJF is gonna be to put my hand in the collar. When I put my hand in the collar and then I'll, I'll curl my heel. We can roll up, we can do a bunch of neck cranks, we can make life just absolutely terrible, all right? Uh, let's turn just a little bit this way so I can see the other stuff. So I'm here, rolling the seat belt, pulling back, control. Foot on the inside, control. Look at how I allow that leg to go over, I pin it. And you can see that I'm trapping this arm. If the hand comes in, we're gonna be in trouble, ladies and gentlemen, you need to pull on that wrist to get that leg over, and you can see that I've caught his head. If you wanna come up and start controlling this arm, that's very difficult because a lot of times they'll hide it. So you're gonna be loose with this heel so that you can get your hand into the collar. Once you get your hand into the collar, then you're gonna curl that heel. The finish on the choke, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be very natural when they're turned that their neck is exposed. So when we put the hand in the collar, we don't finish really by pulling, we do pull lightly, but the finish is in the curl of that calf because it will lift their head into the choke, all right? Be careful that you don't continue rolling over because it'll, it'll crank their neck. Uh, sometimes you can roll them all the way over and arm bar them. This position is, is really goofy. If you can get to it, you're, you're gonna have a lot of success. Arm bars, wrist locks, chokes, neck cranks, all of that stuff comes out of this. The difficult part to this is not gonna be feeding the foot. It is gonna be pulling that hand away to get your leg over the head. Now, it's important that when we fall to the side that those toes are stiff so that it keeps that arm pinned to the floor and they can't turn up into you. Let's look at it again from a different angle. Pulling him back, control, foot on the inside. Control, stiff leg. Look at how I pulled that away as I came over behind the head. Sit up, I'm not calf crunching yet, and then pull. All right, different angle, I'm on the back. I pull him in with my seatbelt, control, remember stuffing, putting my leg in, right? I came over here, now watch how I arch and straighten that leg. That's super important. And at the same time, I pulled this arm away. If it's in tight against his head, you can reach in right here at the wrist and pull it. All you need is enough space to get your leg around. Even, keep it tight. Even if I have to shear it off, that's okay. You, only, you don't need a whole bunch of space to get that leg over. Now that I'm here, I am gonna sit up, put my thumb in the collar, and then watch how I'm gonna curl my heel back. That curling of the heel back pushes on the head and finishes the choke. If you don't have a hand underneath the choke or underneath the chin to choke them, they'll just rest their chin on their chest. So it's important that you get that. Let's look at it again, just a little bit different angle. We're gonna 45 it here because the important thing that hinges on this whole position is that we get this leg to the floor with my leg straight, okay? So I'm here, I pull him back, stiff arm, foot comes in, control, there. That's what we want. You can see that I pulled this away. Leg over top, control underneath, and then I'm gonna pull with my heel. If this doesn't work, and you're so inclined, very gently and very slowly, I will turn my body to the floor and turn him all the way up on his head. When I turn him up on his head, I can start putting a lot of pressure on him. I'm not even gonna move into those moves, guys, because I haven't practiced that with Mike. He doesn't know which way to roll. But you can just barrel roll, it'll catch their head, it'll spread their arms and be uh, very unpleasant, right? Yes. <laughs> all right? Check it out, let me know what you think. I'm not telling you it's high percentage, but it's something that I have a lot of fun with.